so the structure and design of the R10. The R10 featured a conventional design for its time, with a low-mounted, plywood-covered wooden cantilever wing. This construction method was typical for Soviet aircraft of the period and was chosen for its durability and ease of production. Because let's be honest, no one wants to fly a plane that turns into confetti midair. No one wants to see that. The fuselage of the R-10 was built using a semi-monocoque design, which helped reduce weight and improve the overall structural integrity of the aircraft. The undercarriage of the aircraft was retractable, folding into the wings to reduce drag during flight, because nothing says aerodynamic like tucking in your feet. And aerodynamic. <laughs> the R-10's crew consisted of two members, a pilot and an observer rear gunner, because let's face it, Flying into combat alone is just bad life choices. Come with me if you want to live. The observer was stationed in a turret at the rear of the aircraft, where they operated a single machine gun for defense. 